what is up guys and in today's video we're going to be checking out windblown which is a brand new roguelike by the crafters of dead cell which i absolutely love it's a one to three player roguelike with cuddly creatures that look absolutely amazing and i've been watching clips and stuff on steam next Fest pages and the streamers and it looks absolutely amazing and fully up my street if you do enjoy this as well make sure you drop the video a like and if you want to see more content like this or any of my other videos please make sure you subscribe without further ado let's get into the video right so booting up the game we are greeted with obviously the main menu and then when you click on new you're greeted uh, greeted greeted with choose a body, axolotl, basilisk, bat, guinea pig, pangolin, demo valiance world. Okay, so we're, I'm guessing you get that if you get the full game. I think for our first one, I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to start with an axolotl. So I'm not too sure if they all get different abilities. Obviously from that amazing key art, it might look like that you do. Awaken. Come. Join me. It's very bright. Very bright. Oh, this is already giving me, like, uh, Tears of the Kingdom floating islands uh, vibes. All right, let's run across this very precarious bridge. Oh, hello, who are you? Oh, they, they look like turrets. Okay, so A is dash. Who are you? Is that a big butcher's knife? It's a fish knife. Okay. I guess being an axolotl. That, so everyone must get their own different style of weapons, I guess. Yeah, so I'm assuming everyone, each, each different body, as it said on the menu gives you a different weapon output I guess so the axolotls is the is a fish knife which is interesting there we go Let's, don't know if these are checkpoints I assume so So verticality, we don't have to worry about too much in this because it will just dash up to where they are. But as soon as I saw him, I was like, oh, I must have like a ranged attack or something to be able to get up to those guys. But I can definitely see this being sp speed run. Hello. Okay, cool. Friendly memory. Hey, wait, you're not a sentinel. We used to be like you, if I remember correctly, but things didn't end well. Seems to be broken. A shred of memory haunting this mineral. If you like, we can help you leave this cursed place. We can share what's left of us with you. It might disturb you initially, but hey, it's better than being trapped here forever, if you ask me. Please choose me. You can only absorb one of us. No, me. Free me. Don't listen to them. Take the one that will help you the most. Okay. So we've either got focus dash, which is dash activates focus, so plus sixty percent for the first for one hit. Deadly brutality, which is kills activate brutality, plus sixty percent for four seconds, or kills heal you for four. I think I'm gonna go for kills heal you for four, because then if you're in a battle with loads of ads, at least you then know. So we've got a fish knife, and we've got a max at the moment of three gifts. I always feel like the the Legend of Zelda get player in me is like if you see pots you have to smash them up. There we go. I don't know if you can fall off. I assume you can. Where else have we got? Hello, what's this? That's a chest. What's in the chest? Kunai applies cursed. Oh no, so we can. Oh, yeah, Y is a different ability. Okay. Okay, I don't think we can fall off, because I tried to push to see if I could fall off then, and it wouldn't let me. Where have we got to go? I feel like we've got to go somehow over there, but... 
it didn't really... Oh, wait, hold on. It didn't look like we could go that way, but we actually can. Oh, I picked up grenades. Oh, yeah, just because just that's what you need in a game like this to do with cuddly creatures. Grenades. Seriously, I'm currently running around with a big fish knife, so I guess grenades aren't too far-fetched. Oh, get another gift. Encrypted memory, death orb. Okay, maybe future abilities. See, there is a combo, so it's a three hit combo. Gets you the more powerful hit. Trinket up, okay. I teleported off the map then and without realizing I'd landed on an island. Like, I didn't actually know I'd hit an island. I thought I'd just hit the edge of the map, but I hadn't. I'd actually hit a small island on the left. Ow. Ow. I think that's the first lot of proper damage we've taken this round, I think. Head up here. There you go. The healing is coming in handy, at least. Oh, we need to pick a path. Uh, I don't know what this is, so let's try this. Oh, I missed the third combo. There you go. Oh, God. Oh, we applied poison. That was why. Cool. Oh, okay, you just want to keep chucking things at me? And get rid of him. Oh, uh, oh, I thought it was going to chuck another load of bosses at me then. I was just like, no, thank you. Got a burning rare bit. Okay, so weapons and trinkets damage 40% while near your target. Kills refill the trinkets by five seconds, or using a trinket activates a rush. I feel like that, just because we're hack and slashing at the moment. So I feel like that's going to come. Follow the wind. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we're doing a lot more damage because we're closer up. Attack speed, loot, or health. Let's go for attack speed, seeing as we're going to be close up and in their faces majority of the time. There you go. Yeah, so being able to do more damage close up is the handier. Are we going the right... Way, I assume so. Cool. We lost quite a bit of health there, but oh, okay, we're getting a new weapon. That's a bit of a heavier, a heavier swing. The dash, the dash is clever. I like the dash. Oh. No. I knew the first boss we took on would probably end up getting absolutely mangled, more than likely. Okay, we get to see what the, like, obviously part of roguelikes, if you die, you go back to the beginning, so. That's it. Carl is back. I'm here, master. Ah, uh, um. Another new recruit to train, then. Hush. Keep it down. At last. Give them time to get over their emotions. They've only just come back to life. Hello. Oh. 
Blech. Hey, he puked on me. Oh, lovely. Getting killed isn't easy to digest. I'll get them up. Welcome to our Ark. My name is Eperin, head of the village and Leaper's Guild. You seem to have fully recovered. Our Macabre sure knows how to work a miracle in the infirmary. See that thing you're wearing on your back? It's a pulsar. I don't know where you got it, but it's linked to your soul. It's what allows you to come back to life here on the Ark. You are very lucky. Only those linked to a pulsar have the privilege of becoming a Leaper. The Leapers, first and foremost, are here to help, here to help the people of the Ark. They bring back precious resources such as cogs found on the Vortex Seminoles. If you show willingness to help the Ark's inhabitants, I'll make you a new recruit. For starters, can you see Copric to the west? Apparently one of the apprentices brought him a sentinel golem. Don't worry, it's totally harmless, but we can't get it to work. If you make it, you'll, uh, you'll be one of us. What do you say? At worst, you'll be working for Macabre. Before you go, take the flask. It might come in handy. Lovely. Start your expedition with a health flask. Cool. And we've got to go west, which is this way. No. Well, this is east, so... You're the newcomer. I'm Court Prick. I'm in charge of restoring all the Ark's broken things, but this dang golem resists me. I've tried everything, but it seems to be missing a vital component. Perhaps you can find it in the Vortex. All you have to do is seek the same model and grab the part in question. I'm very curious to see what this golem is all about. Okay. Find a way to repair friend forever during an expedition. Okie dokie. Now all you have to do is set off on an expedition to find the missing piece. Guessing going here? No. Oh, do I need to talk to him first? Recovery attempt. Booting error. Assistance required. Missing original ventricle. Okay, cool. Where am I going for... Where do I go for an expedition, then? Is this it? Oh, yeah, there you go. Right. Look, here's Vomito. I bet they gave you your first mission after you got blasted by the Vortex. Lol. It's a llama. What's more, you don't even know how to use the cannon. So simple, you just have to get into it. But seeing as you only have two brains set... Uh... Oh, we fired them into the Vortex. Lovely. Cool. Monkey Z, monkey do. Let's jump in. Uh, yeah, we'll take... Oh, they're like a speed weapon from the looks of it. And up the stairs. No, we're just going to do constant round and round rosies. Come on. Here we go. Get rid of that one. Up the hill. Wait, can we call it a hill? Lovely. Up here. The movement is very fluid and very fast. Can't really fault the movement at all, to be honest. And that gets rid of you. Oh, wait. Almost ran off. Dash mark. Cool. Unlocking some more bits. This will be interesting multiplayer, I think. Because as I said, this is up to three player multiplayer. So the fact that I can have two more people with me on runs like this is Oh, hello. Please destroy me. I am B4 forever. It is a passive model. Please have a friendly attitude when using B4 forever. B is here to help you. B forever can satisfy your request. Code piece missing. Warning, the operation is irreversible. Okay, take care of friend. Return to vent return the ventricle. Okay. So we've got the piece that we need. And now we've got a big boss.
Just because you can read it doesn't mean I can actually do anything about it. Ow. Okay, we, we killed him at least. I don't know what we unlocked there, but cool. Alter attack. Use one weapon until the signal appears, then use another to launch its alter attack. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, what's this way? Okay, we can completely ignore that. Lovely, it gets rid of you. Ow, I'm gonna probably die. I'm probably gonna die. Yep. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I head back and go and give this thingy to the robot. Mass of previous holder, known holder, dying from ocular device in progress. Storing factory settings. Hello, my name is Friend Forever. I'm personal encrypted memories decoder. I decode these encrypted memories and send them to the pillars inside the vortex. Once decrypted, you can find them using our memory pillars. Excessive use of memories is dangerous for your health. To decrypt, please bring an encrypted memory. Warning, decrypting requires memonites. Material not included. To thank you for your trust, we're giving you your first decryption souvenir, a beat bolt. A unique function between precision crossbow and thrilling rhythm game. We hope we met all your expectations. Please give us five stars on Friend Forever is offline. <laughs> cool. Right. To be honest, I think overall I'm going to leave it there more than likely. I don't want to give away too much for myself when it comes to the full game. But I think overall, very fun. I can see this being a regular game that we play. A lot of these roguelikes play really, really well, I feel like, on handheld. And because I've got a Legion Go, I can see myself probably playing this on stream, but also playing more off stream on the Legion Go as well. But yeah, I really enjoyed playing this. I think it's definitely a game I would recommend for you guys as well. And if you enjoyed watching, please make sure you drop the a, a subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And if you enjoyed the video overall, just make sure you drop it a like. But other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video.